What is going on guys and welcome back to another video. So today it seems like the leaks have officially begun and as always they start off by a mythical dude who has either played the game or simply worked for the company who's making the game and you guessed it, this one is no different except the detail is definitely questionable. Now as always do take this stuff as a pinch of salt as nothing is official but boy oh boy the details this dude reveals fake or not are just super cool. Now I just wanted to say I found this information from a dude who goes by the name The Flix Fix, who another YouTuber who goes by the name Salvage1009 discovered, so hey, credit to those guys. Now a quick overview, apparently this was all revealed on Discord and of course with the Batman Beyond rumors etc, that all is what led to this dude wanting to go ahead and reveal this stuff. So first thing is first, he claims that he was one of the dozen people that were chosen to play this game and in a nutshell says that if they can't basically find his identity they just can't figure out who this dude is if they did of course it would be a whole whirlwind for this guy but he says you can't fire 33 people at once so hey I guess you better best hope that you don't get caught. Now apparently this has been in the making for around two years which to me sounds reasonable I guess again I'm no game developer but it sounds okay and the game is called Wait for it, Batman Arkham Crisis. Now still, whether or not this stuff is fake or real, I will have to say that Batman Beyond Arkham is a much cooler name, but hey, that is just my opinion. But the code name is Nightrise Redacted, and the whole Batman Arkham Crisis title hasn't yet been made official in terms of what they're going to call it, but the dude claims that they are pretty much rooting to that direction, and in a nutshell, it will more than likely be Batman Arkham Crisis. Which leads to the overall story of the line that, in a nutshell, the Court of Hours is launching multiple attacks on Gotham City and this is another really really interesting fact in terms of the map size apparently Gotham City is around 1.7 times larger than GTA 5 now that is just absolutely insane and what's even cooler is that they're not just going after Batman in this case they're also going after Bruce Wayne and not going to lie already that sounds super interesting and there's about 12 acts pretty much averaging around an hour each and interesting fact or should we say lie or I don't really know what you want to say this but whether or not it's real or whatever it's super super cool the Batwing will be your main point of transport now we know a lot of people really really want this you can fly super high and basically skydive to the ground is what this guy says now there's also co-op but the dude was not able to see it as apparently it's not complete and it won't just be like matchmaking co-op you can literally go ahead invite a buddy and play the game together not for story though but just side missions and of course that's just your pretty average i guess co-op stuff now moving on to combat there's a whole lot more challenge to it where in a nutshell button smashing won't do the job and there is also a day and night cycle again which is what a huge amount of people wanted they've got civilians or NPCs whatever you want to call them just going about their day like in Spider-Man to give you guys a better idea and of course the big question now is the release date now according to this guy it will be in the March Game Informer and will release in October Halloween night to be specific but can possibly be delayed to November now all of this stuff I guess this is is where it unfortunately leads down to that path where you're kind of like hey this is probably a lie because we know from like the game developer etc etc that we've had the teasers of something happening in May now we don't know what that could be I mean if this dude was as real as it gets of course it could be an announcement in March and I don't know first ever gameplay in May or a trailer in May I really wouldn't be able to answer that question but in terms of a release date, again, October, November, it does sound reasonable. Like, I'm not going to flat out say that is just way out of it. I mean, that does sound realistic to some extent. But moving out of that kind of section about the release date, 
The game costs around $319 million in terms of production, which is also a little crazy thing that I guess a game tester wouldn't know. I mean, you just wouldn't know the game's budget, but again, it's not completely impossible. And the amount of detail this dude was going in about this game, I don't know, either his imagination is just absolutely insane or this is as real as it gets. I want you guys to get in the comment section below and let me know what you think, but the interesting, I guess, rumors or facts, whatever you want to call them right now from this supposed leak is that it's 1.7 times bigger than GTA 5's map. There's a day and night cycle, you've got the bat wing, combat is a whole lot more challenging, and of course there's co-op. So, Again, these are big, I guess, what, six or seven key factors was that? So those are what really, really makes gameplay a whole lot cooler. But again, guys, you get in the comment section below and let me know what you think. And of course, that is going to wrap up this video here. So subscribe for more awesome content if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next one. But till then, have yourselves a ridiculously amazing day and adios amigos.